Let's jump right in, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Rudy Rodriguez Shomot, back with another Rudy's Rant from Come On Now, the podcast. The Chicago Sky game versus the New York Liberty just ended. The Liberty came away with an 81-67 win over the Sky. But obviously, the bigger news of today is Angel Reese's streak has ended with 8 points and 16 rebounds. She finished just two points short of extending that streak to 16 games, but it ended today at the hands of the New York Liberty. The New York Liberty were not going to allow her to get a fluffy basket at the end of the game. And you saw how pathetic, and I got to call it out, because they're down 14 points. There was once where Reese grabs the rebound, and she tries to go coast to coast. You knew what she was trying to do. She's trying to go coast to coast. She loses the ball as she's about to hit the three-point line and therefore stops that ability to try to go coast to coast to score. This was with less than a minute to go. And then twice she's demanding the ball in the post. Final possession. It's under 24 seconds. Once again, we're under 24 seconds. This game is over. They're down 14. They're down 14 points. And what does Angel Reese do? Angel Reese sprints her ass down to the block and is demanding the ball. She knows that she's two points short of this double-double streak. She knows it. She's paying attention to it. That's why she's having these temper tantrums on the floor when she misses a layup. One, she missed a point with about under four. They ran a play right to her. She has inside position, she catches the ball, and she completely misses the layup. Your own fault. You can't make layups. We know this already. This is a proven fact. You can't make layups. It happens over and over and over and over again. She was 3 for 13 from the field today. As you can see, she can't make layups. This is not a new situation. Then there was another possession. Camila Cardoso. Shoots the ball over the basket. She misses. Reese grabs the rebound. Reese throws the ball into the bottom of the backboard. Is screaming for a foul. Teresa Weatherspoon draws a technical foul for it. Let's be real. This was a double-digit game at that point. You're having a freaking temper tantrum because you think you got fouled or because you're trying to extend that streak. Because this wasn't a winning situation. The game was over. The game was over. I get it. You thought you were fouled. I get it. You thought you were fouled. You weren't fouled. You shot the ball into the bottom of the backboard. You have people around you because all y'all are trying to grab a rebound. But you weren't fouled. The begging for fouls is wild. So you don't get the foul call. So what happens? You go back down trying to demand the ball again. Then you have the coast to coast. Then Then in the final 24 seconds again with the game over, You're demanding the ball. This is the point where the game is done, man. Guards don't pass the ball to bigs in the final 24 seconds when the game is done down, you know, down 14. This doesn't happen in basketball, not in the NBA. Maybe it happens in the WNBA. I don't think so. I think it happens in this situation because she wants that record. She wants to keep it going. And again, you know what? In theory, I do understand why she wants to keep it going. But at this point, do you really, does it mean anything? You keep telling us that you only care about winning. No, you don't. You care about this record. The record is more important than the W. And because you weren't going to have the W, you showed that your record matters more. I w- Angel Reese is having a freaking great season. And she keeps cheapening her season with bullshit like this. She keeps doing it. This record's not that freaking important. You have it already. You're just trying to extend it. It's okay. No one who knows hoops gives any credence to any more of this record because it should have ended two games ago against Atlanta. Realistically, could have ended against Minnesota before you got the record. But damn sure, could have ended two games ago against Atlanta. Let's cut the garbage here. Cut the nonsense. She's demanding the ball down 14. And then what does New York do? They triple teamed her. They're like, you're not getting this shot off. No way in hell. 
And again, she has no post game. And because she has no real post game, she can't even take a fadeaway jump shot. No, she brings the ball down to her hip. They're not letting her get the ball back up in the air. She has to kick it back out. There's nowhere to go. She had nowhere to go. She had to kick it back out. And then she runs to the opposite wing on the weak side. And Kennedy Carter's dribbling. I think it was Kennedy Carter dribbling the ball. And she's begging for the ball on the weak side with four seconds left. Is she going to shoot a jump shot? Could the pass have even gotten there? But if if they had actually passed the ball to her there, oh, my God. And she shot the ball and got it that way or missed it that whatever, missed it or made it. It just keeps on proving the point that people are saying. This isn't real anymore. That This is not about W's. This is about you. This is about you. This is about you. And it's a damn shame because you're having a really good year and you keep doing cheapening moments like this. It's bad enough they give rebounds for getting your shot blocked. I hate that crap. It's bad enough that you can get rebounds shooting the ball back to yourself over and over again. You're still having a really freaking good season. And now... For the third time in four games, we're seeing this cheapening of a mark. Whether it was the Atlanta game, whether it was the Liberty game on Thursday, where she grabs her rebound with two minutes to go and is immediately pulled from the game. This goes to what I keep saying. She has no offensive skills. If she had any offensive skills in this league, she would be a dominating force dominating. She might be one of the best players in basketball if she had any level of an offensive game. She has no offensive game. All her offense comes from from hard work. Her offense comes from grit. Her offense comes from grind, grinding, fighting, being tough, physical, all that crap. It doesn't come from being skilled. There's no skill. But holy crap, another one of these, they were trying to keep this bogus record going. She's begging for it. Well, now, beyond that, let's look at what really is going on because, you know, it's about winning, right? It's supposed to be about winning. All that junk talk, back-to-back losses to the Liberty, leads in both games, second quarter meltdowns, as they had both games, last game and this game. Kennedy Carter sits for the entire third quarter. I don't know why that was happening. That I don't care how bad she came out. I don't care if that was, was the worst game of her season. You, why are you benching her for that long, for that extended period of time? Because I could have argued that they should have benched Angel Reese last game when she was three for 14 after three quarters. They didn't. They put her in the game because they wanted the record to keep going. She finished three for 13, two for two, six offensive boards, 16 rebounds overall, eight points, minus 13 on the floor. Car- Carter was three for 10. She hit all three shots like in the last – Five minutes of the game. Finished with seven, three rebounds. She was minus 11 on the floor. I don't know why she's sitting for that long. That doesn't make a lot of sense. More so, the Liberty won this game minus two starters. Brianna Stewart and um, Laney Hamilton didn't play. That's a big win for the Liberty, considering they're missing two starters, important starters. Like, these aren't just, like, like fringe starters. These are this is 35 points of offense. Sabrina Iascu has a big-time game, goes 9 for 21, 28 points. John Quill Jones had 14. Big-time performance by the New York Liberty. Um, but, yeah, I, I, this record's over. The, record, the record's dead. And now she can go start, go start a new one. Go start a new one. But the record's dead. That's it. It's over with. I don't want to hear about this damn record anymore. Thank God we don't get to listen to this nonsense about how it's being pushed and pushed and pushed. 3 for 13 from the field, missing layups. Record's dead. That's all I got. Come on now.